Hello, welcome again. This is the second video I made today. No tie on in this one though. All right, we're going to talk about a topic we started to talk about on the My Argonauts on Facebook page. And uh, we're going to continue it here on YouTube. Um, I did, I will tell you this, something fun happened to me uh, yesterday. I bought a Coke from my vending machine here on campus and I heard it double, like two things rolled out. And the other thing in there was this Coke can. It's all gold. And as you can see, it says, Atari, which means you won. Happy can. And it's got the logo for the World Cup in Brazil, which obviously Coke is a huge sponsor. And it's kind of heavy, but it you know, doesn't have a regular top. It actually came off like this. And inside is some kind of uh, samba whistle or something. I haven't actually opened it all the way up yet. It looks like a Coke bottle, but I think you blow into it. And... Um, and I think these are just magnets or weights, so it will, you know, it would go, because this is obviously hollow with some paperwork, um, so it would actually, like, fall in the machine properly. <laughs> so I didn't push any special button or anything. It just kind of came along with my coat. So uh, there you go. If you're in Japan and you, you know, see a vending machine, maybe you can get a, a special happy can. <laughs> Um, okay, but speaking of things uh, that you buy in Japan, the topic of this one are things that are overpriced in Japan. And I started this, and I just listed three things that happened to come to my brain that day. And I said, man, these things, you know, when you talk about it, these things are overpriced in Japan. I invited other people who have liked my page um, to leave a comment and tell me something if they have lived in Japan or visited Japan that they felt was overpriced. Um, so we're talking about spending yen here, okay, this is Ichiman, this is uh, 10,000 yen, very typical bill. Um, somebody asked me the other day on my Facebook page, you know, what credit cards are good in Japan? Well, the, the regular Visa MasterCard, I think even American Express, but really Japan is cash society. You, you care, it's not unusual to be carrying around multiples of this bill in your wallet and to go into a convenience store and say buy a, a, a bottle of coke for a dollar you know fifty a dollar fifty hundred and fifty yen and give them this and they're happy to give you change and break a one hundred dollar bill as it were um, unlike America where they would frown at you if you tried to give them a fifty or a hundred uh, especially if it was a small amount okay so the three things I listed that are very expensive in Japan Delivery pizza, incredibly expensive. Uh, I've talked about it this many times before, but basically a medium, you know, kind of 10 to 12 inches or whatever you want to call it, maybe it's even centimeters, um, uh, is like $25 in Japan. And uh, you don't have to tip the guy when he brings it to you, but it's, it's way overpriced. And part of that is because of something else I'm going to mention in a moment that's really overpriced. Um, but part of it, I think, is just... Um, they don't really have a mechanism for, for that type of delivery food. And I live in a college town, ostensibly, um, and you would think kids would order pizza all the time from this, you know, the local, there's only one place that delivers in town. Um, but, you know, I don't think it does, I don't think it does huge business because it's so expensive. Um, to get like a large pizza that I like the toppings on at the place where I get my pizza is 3,360 yen, um, which is, you know, like $33 for one pizza. Um, crazy. Um, I recently I had a birthday uh, for a student at my Akaiwa, and I wanted to buy her a cake. And I knew cakes were kind of expensive, but um, you know I just wanted a simple cake with some frosting and then to write "Happy Birthday, Saki" on it. And you know this was a nice cake. It was kind of small, round, angel food or whatever, and it uh, you know had some fruit on it, and it was like two thousand six hundred yen. Um, and it basically, I think we got eight people out of it. You know, we got eight slices of cake out of it. Um, so really expensive, like 20, 25 bucks for a pretty small cake. Um, and I know in America, you know, you get a big sheet cake, you know, uh, that's, you know, like a big rectangle and you could write whatever you want on it or decorate it for a child or whatever. And it's like $10 or something. Um, but yeah, like I also buy ice cream cake every now and then from, uh, Baskin Robbins and it's really expensive. Cinema tickets, I've talked about this many times, but you know what, when I was thinking about cinema tickets, it's weird, I came here in 2004 and the t ticket, the price of a movie ticket has not changed in 10 years, it's now 2014, 
I'm, I'm coming up on my 10 year anniversary from when I first got here and there's still, it's still 1,800 yen to go to a movie. I'm sure in 2003, 2004, the price of a ticket at my local theater in California was much different than it is now. Um, so there's some price stability there, but it's still, it's, it's just way overpriced. You know, the tickets should be much cheaper, um, especially for younger kids. Even if you're like a Chugak, say, like a junior high kid, you know, and you're obviously like a teenager or you have a school ID or something, it's still like 10, you know, a thousand yen, 10 bucks or something to go to a movie. And that's, you know, I mean, I know that's sort of starting to be in line with the rest of the world, but it's, it's overpriced. Um... Okay, and now, so those were the three things I listed. Here are some things that other people listed. I'll try to go a little bit faster. Peanut butter, yes. Um, the Japanese brands are pretty bad. You can get, um, and I've talked about this on a vlog before. Um, you can get, is it Smuckers? No, it's not Smuckers. Jiffy, maybe Jif? Um, anyway, there's a good American brand that you can get. They have creamy and crunchy, but a really small jar that lasts me about four sandwiches is like 500 yen. So it's expensive. Another byproduct of that is I like to make French toast. Um, and pancakes are really popular here, but syrup is incredibly expensive because they, I guess they just import it. They don't try to make their own or whatever, I don't know. Um, but uh, it all comes from Canada and it's incredibly expensive. Like a small bottle is like $8. Um, so it's just really overpriced. Um, another person mentioned live concerts. I haven't gone to that many, but um, he said even to see like smaller bands that aren't that famous at even smaller venues, you can pay, you know, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 yen. And I know that some bigger bands to go see like The Police or, you know, Aerosmith or Paul McCartney, I mean, you're easily talking Ichiman or more. So $100 or more to go see a concert. Um, but that might be true in a lot of places now. I haven't been to a concert in America in a long time, too. Um, appliances, and some person mentioned like a rice cooker, some of these types of things that you buy for your home. I haven't really found them to be that much different. Um, you know, certainly you can shop the deals on things like Amazon, amazon.co.jp, amazon.com, and you can find some things that are cheaper, you know, if you want to buy a new camera or a new this or new that. But some things are about the same. So... She, she thought appliances were a lot ex more expensive. Another person said clothing. See, I don't buy my clothing in, in Japan, so I don't know about that. But, I mean, I certainly have walked through the department store and seen, like, the price of a new pair of sneakers and something, and they seem kind of high. But um, I know one time I did go into a big and tall shop in Hiroshima, and uh, the prices for, like, my size clothing, which is kind of a specialty item, let's face it, here in Japan, was really expensive, like $100 for a pair of jeans that I would probably pay 50 or 60 bucks for in America, you know, that kind of markup. Um, gas, somebody mentioned, on, somebody mentioned gas, gasoline, petrol. Um, that's relative. Uh, I've talked about this before. It's more than America, um, and we do it here by the liter, not by the gallon, but I think it's less than the UK. You know, the UK and Japan are both island nations that import a lot of things. Um, so petrol is expensive, yes. But it's not as bad um, as it is in some countries. But yes, it is more expensive than America when you break it down. Uh, if you broke a gallon down into liters, etc. Um, so one thing I mentioned, um, and somebody else mentioned too, CDs, DVDs, these kind of things. If you want to buy a brand new Blu-ray... Um, if you want, like the other day I, at my shop, um, they had the whole season one of The Following, which is a show that I'm renting, which is really good with Kevin Bacon. It's a TV show that's on Fox in America. And they have the whole season one box set. It's like, you know, eight DVDs or something. No, it's not that many. It's like four DVDs or something. And it's like 9,900 yen. I mean, just incredibly expensive. That's almost $100. Um, and I mean, you know, like I just was on Amazon, a show that I'm hearing a lot about, I know nothing about it, so don't leave me spoilers or anything, is a show called True Detective. I've heard so much good stuff. I probably will buy the Blu-ray and try it. Um, and it's like $80 retail in America, but you know, Amazon has it for 40 So that kind of price cut or like, you know, this is the full price, but this is what we're selling it at, you don't see that in Japan. If the price on the CD is 2,600 yen, which is a common price for a new single CD, that's the price the store sells it at. They have no reason to discount it 
or to do price wars with other stores. So um, they can be incredibly expensive. But somebody countered with a good comment that the one thing you can do here as far as music is you can rent CDs, which is something you really can't do in America. Um, it's a big industry here. Um, they get the CDs fairly quickly, I think, after they're released. And you can rent them for, say, 300 yen for a couple days and then just rip it into your computer or something like that and then return it. Um, so you can listen to all the music. Uh, so that's really cool if you're into local music. I mean, they get some American releases, One Direction and, you know, Avril Lavigne and, you know, whatever's probably really popular. But um, obviously the main thing is J-pop and, and Japanese music. Um, and obviously I still, people are like, you still go to the rental store to get a DVD? Yes, we still have rental stores here. Um, you know, uh, I was going to show you some of these when I was talking about movie prices. Here's um, uh, the famous Ghibli movie, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. They made a live action version of it. Um, and that came out recently. Um, you know, if you want to see uh, movies, yay, Spider-Man. This we're actually getting a week early. See that? Ha ha ha, America. <laughs> but this doesn't, I've heard so many good things about this. Captain America, Winter Soldier. Uh, doesn't come out to the 19th here, so I haven't seen it yet. So don't leave spoilers. I'm, I've heard good things, so I really want to see it. Um, so I love these little things that you can get. Um, but yeah, so DVDs I still rent. I, I rent a lot. But I've noticed that my, my I went in the other day, I was like, you know, I never saw that Total Recall movie. I'm going to rent that. That seems like a $2 rental, sure. You know, because it's like 180 yen if the movie's, you know, kind of old. And they didn't, they never got it. And I went to rent, um, you know, Spider-Man's coming out. And I went to rent Spider-Man 1, you know, just to see it again, because I only saw it once at the theater. And they never got, you know, they don't, they don't have it. So I'm wondering, like, eh, yeah, that's kind of weird. So I'm wondering what else I've sort of missed, because I'm like, oh, I'll see that on video. And then it's sort of never been on the shelf at my local store. But anyway. Um, highway tolls. Yes, I agree with that. To drive on, you know, they don't have a lot of freeways, um, expressways in Japan. And if they do, they often, you have to pay a toll. You have to pay money to take it. So for me to get to Hiroshima, I can drive a local road or I can drive on the highway. The highway, it only takes about 70 minutes, but it's 2,580 yen each way. So if I want to go to Hiroshima and back and drive, not only is it gas, but it's about 5,000 yen, no more than that, almost 5,500 yen or something in tolls, which is like $55. Um, so there you go. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's expensive. And I don't know why it's so high. I mean, if it was more reasonable, I, I wouldn't mind paying it so bad. Okay, so here are some of the big ones. I've saved them for the end. Rice. Why is rice so expensive? No, I actually know why rice is so expensive here. And it has to do with subsidies and farmers. And they want you to buy Japanese rice and not buy it from China or somewhere. But yeah, it is. It's surprisingly expensive, even though it's such an a everyday necessity commodity here. Um, fruit was the number one thing that people talked about. The prices. One guy said a good comment. He said, everything in Carmen Miranda's head if you know who she was, um, you know, bananas, oranges, apples, um, pineapple, um, cantaloupe was one that was mentioned specifically by a couple people, um, very expensive here, um, not so crazy, I mean, you hear about the $30 melon and stuff, and that does happen, but I mean, it's, you know, the $5 apple, but it just in general, it is expensive, some veg too, you know, asparagus, Certain things are, are more expensive. Some beef, if you want certain kinds of cuts of beef, can be expensive. The number one one for me, though, was cheese. Cheese, real cheese, like good cheddar cheese, really expensive here. And that's one of the reasons why I think pizza, delivery pizza, is maybe a little bit more expensive. All right, if you have more, if you have something else, leave it in the comment in, on YouTube. Go to the My Argonauts at Facebook page and tell me what you think is overpriced in Japan. I'm sure we missed a few, but there was some of the ones from my lovely readers and supporters and viewers. So thanks for uh, leaving comments, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.